Now there's scratches too, but there seems to be quite a pattern to it. As if, could this be actually a saw? Now this material is basalt, which is very hard. It's not from the local area. And so a culture with bronze chisels couldn't, or bronze saws, even with some kind of silica sand as an abrasive, could not produce that kind of fine finish as far as I can tell. I'll show you other examples here in this little area by itself of examples of machining technology at work. Not modern machines, not dynastic Egyptian machines, but older machining technology by the Comitians. Now well, that, for example, you can see that's the end of where there was a saw cut of some kind and this piece broke off. The di diameter of that uh, saw blade seems to be about one-eighth of an inch and it's not a straight cut. We'll sh show that in other videos. What it is, it's a curved cut. So that could be evidence of the giant circular saw. And here, these are the cuts themselves. Again, somewhere between an eighth and a quarter of an inch in diameter going straight through one, two, three of them. So the unfinished this piece is special. But they all they had all this sewing machine. But they are aware of this market. Mm -hmm. They are aware of this market. It's not new to them. But they just like to ignore. So everything else will fit with the story that they created them. See, this sewer system was made to, to get rid. And this is the base of the Great Pyramid. And I, what you see is here, the bottom level here, how the bottom level fits in with the bedrock. mortar-free construction. They flattened the plateau in order to build the pyramid on top of it. So again, here's the original external casing stone of the Great Pyramid. And look how tight the fit of that stone is. And another puzzling thing, as Yusuf Awian, who's there, pointed out, is the amount of erosion of some of this stone, which was, you know, what the main pyramid is made out of, this limestone. The extent of erosion is quite astonishing. So how long would it have taken for that erosion to have taken place? You need uh, a geologist such as Dr. Robert Schock to uh, discuss that.
But would it have taken a thousand years? Or five thousand years? Certainly not in hundreds of years, because this is desert. It's unlikely that it was sand being blown by the wind to erode it to that ex to this extent. The Sphinx is known to have been eroded by water, possibly up to 8,000 or 10,000 years ago. So could that mean that this pyramid, the Great Pyramid, and possibly this one, the Second Pyramid, as well, are contemporary? That they pre-existed the dynastic pharaonic cultures of Egypt? That's what we're trying to find out. The most powerful results. Mm -hmm. What most people also don't realize is the fact that on the Giza Plateau, you have the Great Pyramid and the Second Pyramid, and of course the smaller Third Pyramid. But off on this side, which is the east side, you have all of these little baby ones like this, this kind of size. And here you can see the casing stone is still on the exterior. There are about 30 of these. The casing stone is original, and also there are these shafts that go down. I, I can see the bottom. It's at least 30 or 40 feet filled with sand, and then there's a chamber going off to the left. And this one as well. It's deeper with chambers going off at the what is now the bottom. So really, you don't build shafts for burying people. If the shafts are there, you could use them for burying people. Here's the shaft in the center of one of these baby ones. But it makes more sense that the shaft system, the tunnel system, was part of a giant water network that literally ran and still runs under the Giza Plateau. They in fact have massive pumps right near the uh, the front entrance of the Giza Plateau and they're constantly pumping water out of it to this very day. That's another shaft. So it makes, so the, it makes this whole area far more mysterious and interesting than the conventional explanation. Ah, and we've just been told we can go into Medes Ankh, the third tomb, which is a mastaba. <laughs>